Hi everybody. Today we are going to study Lagrange's interpolation formula for unequally spaced points. Okay. In previous lectures we have studied about Newton forward and backward difference method for equally spaced points. Okay. Now in this Lagrange's interpolation, first of all, if we consider let y is equal to f of x be a function be a function which takes values which takes values f of x naught f of x1 f of x2 up to f of x n corresponding to corresponding to the points x0, x1, x2 up to xn that is xi is equal to 0, 1, 2 up to n where where xi's are not equally spaced are not equally spaced okay now if we consider a function y is equal to f of x can be expressed can be expressed uh, in x of degree n that means a polynomial polynomial in x of degree n in x of degree n okay now if you consider consider this f of x as a polynomial then f of x of degree n can be written as y is equal to f of x is equal to here a first constant if you consider a naught as a constant and it can be written as x into x minus 1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 up to x minus xn okay plus now you know that a polynomial of degree n can be written as a naught x plus a1 x square plus a2 x cube plus a3 x raised to 4 up to a n x raised to n okay now this we have written in the form of factors that means we have a factors x minus x1 x minus x2 x minus x3 up to x minus xn these are the n factors okay now this is a first term we have considered a naught next second as a, a1 into bracket x minus x naught into x minus x2 into x minus x3 up to x minus x n plus next term as a, a2 into x minus x naught into x minus x1 into x minus x3 up to x minus x n and so on up to last term a n into bracket x minus x naught into x minus x1 into x minus x2 up to x minus x n minus 1 okay now this is a polynomial of degree n okay and here this are n plus 1 terms because first coefficient is a naught second is a1 a2 up to a n okay this is an equation with n plus 1 terms okay now here we have adjusted of factors in a such a manner when we put the value of x is equal to x naught this will be remain only this term only remain other terms will be become zero okay because in other terms here for coefficient a1 here it will be x naught minus x naught it will be zero that means this total product will be zero for a2 also x minus x naught because x naught is present in second term and up to from first second up to nth term it will be present in all okay when we put x naught in this equation 
we will get only first term only okay so we have adjusted in a such a manner okay now in second also here if we put x1 in this f of x1 it will become first zero second will be non zero third will be zero and last term will be also zero that means only one term will be there which is not equal to zero and remaining will be equal to zero okay and will be of degree n polynomial okay now here if i consider f of x i y is equal to for i is equal to zero for i is equal to zero or we if you consider this an equation y is equal to f of x we will put for x is equal to x naught for first value x is equal to x naught this term f of x naught will be equal to therefore f of x naught will be equal to here after putting it will be a naught into bracket x naught minus x1 into x naught minus x2 into x naught minus x3 up to last term is x naught minus x n and plus remaining terms in each term x naught is present so x naught minus x naught will be zero in remaining all terms so here remaining terms will be equal to zero okay so here we can write a naught is equal to f of x naught upon value of a naught will be f of x naught upon x naught minus x1 x naught minus x2 up to x naught minus x3 up to last term is x naught minus x n okay here a naught is equal to similarly for x is equal to x1 above equation if we write it as a equation number 1 equation 1 gives equation 1 gives f of x1 is equal to a1 a uh, first term now in first term when we put x1 here it will be x1 minus x1 zero so it will be first term will be zero plus next second term will be a1 into bracket here x1 is absent in second term so it will be x1 minus x0 next x1 minus after x0 it is x1 minus x2 next x1 minus x3 up to last term x1 minus x n okay and remaining terms all after that here it is x1 present in a2 next term so it will be zero and in remaining all terms it will be present x minus x1 so it will be remaining will be all zeros okay so we can write value of a1 is equal to f of x1 divided by because only this term but remaining are zero so only this term a1 is multiplied by this remaining terms x1 minus x0 so it will be divided on left side so a1 will be f of x1 upon x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 up to x1 minus x n okay similarly for x is equal to x2 equation 1 gives it can be written as f of x2 is equal to a2 into bracket x2 minus x0 into x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 up to last term is x2 minus x n okay so a2 will be equal to a2 will be equal to f of x2 upon x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 x2 minus x3 up to x2 minus x n okay now processing in this way and so on last term for x is equal to x n equation 1 will gives us f of x n is equal to a n into bracket x n minus x not x n minus x1 x n minus x2 up to x n minus x n minus 1 okay therefore a n will be equal to f of x n upon it will be equal to f of x n upon x n minus x not x n minus x1 
एक्स एन माइनस एक्स टू अप टू एक्स एन माइनस एक्स एन माइनस वन ओके दिस विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एम दफोर रिपुटिंग दिस वैल्यूज ऑफ ए नॉट ए वन ए टू एंड ए थ्री इन इक्वेशन वन वी विल गेट द रिक्वायर्ड फॉर्मूला ऑफ लैंग्रांजेस इंटरपोलेशन फॉर्मूला फॉर अन इक्वली स्पेस पॉइंट्स ओके दफोर पुटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए नॉट ए वन इन इक्वेशन वन इक्वेशन वन बिकम्स एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू और वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स विच बी इक्वल टू ना वैल्यू ऑफ ए नॉट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स नॉट एफ ऑफ एक्स नॉट अपॉन एक्स नॉट माइनस एक्स वन इंटू एक्स नॉट माइनस एक्स टू इंटू एक्स नॉट माइनस एक्स थ्री अप टू एक्स नॉट माइनस एक्स एन इंटू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हियर एक्स माइनस एक्स नॉट हियर इट इज एक्स माइनस सॉरी एक्स माइनस एक्स वन x माइनस एक्स वन इंटू एक्स माइनस एक्स टू अप टू एक्स माइनस एक्स थ्री अप टू एक्स माइनस एक्स एन प्लस नाव वी विल पुट ए वन इन इक्वेशन वन विल वी विल गेट प्लस नेक्स्ट टर्म विल बी एफ ऑफ एक्स वन अपॉन एक्स वन माइनस एक्स नॉट इंटू एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू into x1 minus x3 up to x1 minus x n into x minus x0 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 up to x minus x n okay plus next value of which we have find is a2 which will gives us f of x2 upon x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 next we have to drop x2 minus x2 after that it will be x2 minus x3 and last value x2 minus x n okay into x minus x0 x minus x1 we have to drop x2 so x minus x3 up to x minus x here okay and so on its last value will be plus dot 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 and last it will be f of x n divided by its calculation is x n minus x not x n minus x1 x n minus x2 up to x n Minus x n minus one. We have to drop the last value of x n, which we will multiply it by x minus x not, x minus x one, x minus x two up to x minus x n minus one. Okay. So now, now we will rewrite the formula as y is equal to f of x. Okay. Then y not will be equal to f of x not. Y one will be equal to f of x one. Y two will be equal to f of x two, and so on. Y n can be written as f of x n. Okay, so we can write the above formula in a manner such that it can be written as. Now we will write this total multiplication of this multiplication. Okay, that means we will first write. Uh, x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 up to x minus x n divided by denominator is x not minus x1 into x not minus x2 into x not minus x3 up to x not minus x n into f of x not. so we will replace this f of x not by y not into y not okay this is our first term plus second term will be x minus x not into in second term x1 will be deleted and we will go to next x2 x minus x2 x minus x3 up to x minus x n okay so that it will be a polynomial of degree n okay because 
here from 0 to n there are n plus 1 terms and we are deleting one term from each so here in x0 x1 is absent that means they are n factors only okay so we will get nth polynomial for each term okay so divided by x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 up to x1 minus xn into next f of x1 which means y1 next plus next it will be x minus x0 into x minus x1 we have to drop x2 here so it, we will start x1 x minus x3 up to x minus xn divided by it is totally divided by x2 minus x0 into x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 because we are dropping x2 because x2 minus x2 will be 0 and it will be infinite so we will drop it so last term will be x2 minus xn into y2 and so on last term will be so on last term will be x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 up to x minus xn divided by it is totally divided by xn minus x0 xn minus x1 xn minus x2 up to xn minus sorry here it is xn minus 1 so here it is xn minus 1 into yn okay so y f of x can be written as a polynomial of n in terms of this which is a formula of Lagrange's interpolation for unequally spaced point okay also it can be written as f of x is equal to l0 into y0 plus l1 into y1 plus l2 into y2 plus so on up to ln into yn where l1 this term this term will be our l1 okay second here here this term will be our l2 okay so we will write here uh, sorry here it is a l0 l0 here it is a l1 so l0 will be equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 into up to x minus xn divided by it is totally divided by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 into x0 minus x3 up to x0 minus xn okay this will be our l0 similarly l1 will be equal to x minus x0 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 up to x minus xn divided by it is divided by x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x3 up to x1 minus xn okay and so on ln equal to x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 up to x minus xn minus 1 divided by xn minus x0 into xn minus x1 into xn minus x2 up to xn minus xn minus 1 okay which are the values of l0 l1 and ln okay so here we will end the proof of the theorem of Lagrange's interpolation formula okay here this formula is important for solving the example okay okay or you may also consider this formula and you have to remember this terms l0 l1 and ln okay so for today we will stop here in tomorrow's lecture we will go through the examples on Lagrange's interpolation formula okay thank you